Oh man, I missed the ball right. Hi, my name is Manny Martinez. I'm out here at hole number 15 at Brackenridge Golf Course. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to find the apex. In putting, there are two lines. There's a straight line with the ball to the hole. That's A to B. And then there's your putting line. It's very rare that these two lines match up. In order to find your putting line, you got to know how to discover the apex. That's what I want to show you how to do today. Okay, in order to find our putting line, we have to discover where the apex is. And in order to do that, we have to have a measurement. That measurement is the speed of the roll of the putt. The speed that we want to use is 12 to 15 inches past the hole. At that speed, the apex is going to kick in when the speed of the ball runs out, gravity's going to kick in, the wind's going to kick in, the grain's going to kick in, the undulation is going to kick in. That's the measurement we want to use. If you watch this ball, as I throw it up, it starts to come down. If I throw it up harder, it's going to go higher up to the apex. At the point where it comes down, that's the apex. Well, what's true in the air is also true on the ground. Okay, now that we know what speed we need to roll this putt, all we have to do is kind of imagine where the apex is going to be. And that's what I do right now. I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to set a coin down. And if you notice, I got two lines. I got a straight line, A to B. Obviously, I can't use that line because grain, gravity, the slope, and the wind's going to push it off to the right. So I'm going to have to putt on my putting line. Now, in doing this, you got to really trust it. All we want to do as putters is putt straight. Let the gravity, the grain, the slope, and the wind, let it curb the ball. But if you can putt a straight putt, you can make a lot of putts. And this is how this works. Just like that. That's how you start to make a lot of putts. Now, let me show you how to practice this without putting lines on the green. Obviously, we can't take a chalk line on every green that we putt to find our putting line. So what I do when I walk up to the green is I use some imagery. The imagery that I use is simply a can of water. And I come over here to the hole, I pour the water into the hole, and I visualize where the water starts to run out. Then I know where my break is. Then all I got to do then is just figure out my measurement based on my velocity of speed, and I'm going to find my apex. It's just that simple, and you start making a whole lot of putts. Click on alamocitygolftrail.com and learn about all of the great programs we have to offer, including our tournament series, women's golf, the Players Club, and more.